Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 38. And I tried to wait as long as I could, but no no update has been forthcoming yet from from the uh, Frederick and the other NWS team. I really do hope, I just hope that they are able to finally solve this uh, 21 tech thing. I, we may find that we bypass it. I don't know if everyone's complaining about it, but I've just seen, maybe it was only two or three people, but you know, we just kind of extract that to mean or extrapolate that to mean <clears throat> a decent number of people out of the total people playing may actually have that problem. So as far as the Valkyrie goes, people were very happy with her. I've been just getting a lot of very, very good positive, very good and positive comments, which makes me happy. I actually think that the only thing that's a downside with her is the fact that she is pretty expensive. Uh, maintenance cost is going to be 182. We can track that versus the stuck things, which are even on foreign stations, only 140. So you can see that uh, since they're all on foreign station, they're all 140. But uh, the Mosels were overpriced because they, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're happy to have gotten rid of those basically. But the Slickting was a fantastic. I, I really, I will still fight anyone who says otherwise. Oh, I didn't even know this. This was basically the same design in that we had only one set of torpedo tubes in the center mounted, uh, or amidships, I should say. They weren't center mounted. They were port and starboard, side mounted, but <clears throat> uh, the main thing is just, it, it just ended up being a very cheap, and actually you can see that almost all the same armor was used. I mean, this is older armor, so if it was built today, it would be much better. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of benefits for us using this new class, this Valkyrie class. But uh, the Slick Tings, I think, are very serviceable even right now. So they, they, there's definitely a place for them in our Navy. So now we have to start building Slick Tings, and I've, well, the first one would be the Valkyrie. And that means that we're officially committed. And I actually can probably build one, two, three Battlecruisers will be finishing soon. And we have the budget for maybe two more beyond that. So let's get just four more for now. And I don't know if these names, I'm, I'm gonna have to double check these names to make sure that uh, they're pulling from the correct part of the list. But I'm gonna have to do that after this, <laughs> at the end of this episode. So we basically just need to make sure that I'm not recycling names too early. Uh, we should be going right through the list. Cause we did scrap those Mosels basically. And I wanna make sure all those Mosels uh, all those names were put at the back of the list. Okay, so we're at negative 3.5, but this should be... Okay, Rhineland, I forgot about... Oh, wait. Yeah, Rhineland's finished her reconstruction, Ostvin, and the uh, Hohensolorn. I'm going to get it. I've been listening to some pronunci pronunciations of that. Uh, submarine's night surface torpedo attacks. Yes, interesting. That's an interesting technology. It's more of a, I wouldn't really call it a technology, but it's certainly something that the Germans utilized to great effect uh, during World War II. And that might even be the indicator that we should flip on our submarine building switch, but at the same time, I must not have calculated this quite right. 1.7 should have been 3.4. And I thought we were at positive 3.3. So building two should have taken care of that. And then two more was the battle cruisers finishing, or should have been three more was battle cruisers finishing. And yet we're negative 1.5. So I'm off by 1.5 in my estimations, which is not good. <laughs> and we're nearly at war with the United States, which I'm not happy to see. So Falk Wolf, which is, it's funny that they're building the best flying boats. People have mentioned it. I also, I'm really kind of enjoying this alternate reality where <laughs> we're seeing these weird, I mean, the uh, unorthodox companies, excuse me, unorthodox uh, German companies, aircraft companies are building various designs. So we wouldn't expect Falk Wolf to be making flying boats, but <laughs> here they are making good ones. And this is, my goodness, 413, so better, better. Ah, there's the catch. Do you want to sacrifice a lot of range for better firepower and slightly better toughness? Uh, the answer is no. 
these are mostly meant to be good in range and there's other things that I think I'm forgetting still don't know the reliability of those we do have a dive bomber which uh, yeah somebody pointed out that 800 pound bomb could actually be fairly effective I just even if it can penetrate deck or whatever 800 pounds it's not gonna probably not gonna sink I mean you'd have to have a lot of them to sink a ship What's more is their range is not that great, so we'll probably be asking for another dive bomber soon. Oh my god, tensions are just getting worse. Okay, so that's pretty much the kicker. I'm sure that war is imminent. And what do we need to do? We want to defend our Central Pacific holdings. Let's just take a look at what is vulnerable. So it does not look like the Philippines can be invaded. And that is the only American holding outside of the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, we could, if we land a quick blow, possibly start taking some things. Now, unfortunately, the Caribbean is also <clears throat> home territory for the Americans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna improve this base, 120, give me a little bit more. And let's make sure that everything in the Caribbean has a nice base. We will make sure that we have enough air cover. We may even be, should be getting close, west coast, Caribbean here. Uh, so let's expand these bases. Actually, Panama, we don't really have to expand. Well, I guess it's too late, darn it. Uh, we, did, we did both the ones in Panama, but that, that wasn't that important. Actually, it may end up being important because who knows, the Americans may end up raiding over there, but for now, I just wanted to expand the bases and Antilles. Uh, we also, I think we're building some coastal defenses in Antilles. We have two, um, two air bases. No, that's not what I would. I did scrap a couple air bases too. People pointed out. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, we have two in Antilles. Hopefully that'll help. I mean, we still need some ships there to prevent um, an, uh, an invasion. So who goes? Well, if it's going to be war, then war, then the war, we're going to bring the best of our best, which is our Sturmbringers. The Sturmbringers are moving out. Um, I mean, it did drop down to the very bottom of the list. We, we will get there eventually, yes. We'll probably take a lot of the Fire Drakas. I don't want to take the Blukers only because they are short range, so we will lose them. Uh, these are mothballed. We don't really have the... Uh, well, they're not short range, so we can always send them out later. And our tensions with um, Great Britain are actually pff, fantastic. So we can actually probably even send them through the Suez Canal, which would be a little bit faster. I mean, do we have to worry about anything else? Uh, invasion range, nothing, nothing, nothing. No, not at all. Philippines is just out of range. We may be in range of the Philippines, so it's worth putting maybe a couple Owen's Lorns, Owen Solorns, uh, to the Southeast Asia. That's pretty typical of us anyway. Let's move a couple. It's gonna make things a little bit worse for our budget, unfortunately. Minus 4.5, ah! Yeah, that's worse. It's definitely worse. Um. We don't want to move Glukstads too quickly. I mean, uh, sorry, what's the short range one? These, Rot Verstals. We're gonna move maybe four. Unfortunately, I don't want them on active station. How slow are they? 22, oh my god. We may not even bother with mine sweeping, but we really do need mine sweeping. Okay, let's move them into the Caribbean. They are short range, so we have to do it now if we're ever gonna do it. And then, I think we're going to rely on the Bockenheims to hold down Northern Europe because we're expecting Northern Europe to be the cakewalk. And we're going to move all the rest of our destroyers, our fancy ones. Ugh. Okay, Americans, you guys have a lot of light carriers, if I'm not mistaken. You really do. In fact, they even have a full-fledged fleet carrier. Which means, to me, I believe our response is going to be 
to move our two Rhinelands to the Caribbean as well. And that means that we are going to move our Sujlifa because they have anti-aircraft guns. So I'm just, I'm being a little bit safe here. I'm not going to move the ones that don't have anti-aircraft because I don't think that we're going to get as much value out of them. We can move them after the fact, by the way. Of course, we can move them. We can move them later, but now the unfortunate thing is this. Okay, so let's active fleet you, just so you stay there. So we have one, at least one light cruiser. I really want to get rid of these Mosels. <laughs> uh, okay, then I guess we just have to move. Okay, these guys are all on. Um, yeah, only one of them is on reserve fleet. So let's move you and you to the Caribbean maybe even three of them just when I was about to say give the order now let's change our minds here let's get these three to move to the Caribbean and then I'm actually gonna reserve fleet the rest of them just to save a little bit of money and that is not a little amount of money that is quite a lot very nice to see that we were able to save something. Okay, well, that's that's that group. That's not a lot of escorts and stuff. How many? Eight, so two groups of four. Ugh. Ugh, and we know that the basically the broad versatiles are going to be brought in instead then. I think we just have to move maybe a group of five Tutenberger vaults over as well or even just four i don't know how much space we have left over there how many are we over our limit already we might very well be on our base limit again it's never been explained or entirely clear to me what these numbers mean but the caribbean has 170 northern europe has 935 which is probably a lot of destroyers but you know there's a lot of capital ships there too so here we go. Uh, developed a torpedo bomber. We're always interested in those. This one has equivalent range, slightly faster speed, better firepower, better maneuver. So it's better in every way, except it doesn't carry quite of heavy ordnance. However, the torpedo is carried with heavy load in either case, in which case it's just better. So. As long as the reliability is average, oh, dang it. And there's the war. So perfect timing. And no, we didn't even start. Oh my god, please no. Please no. I don't know if we can actually fight two at the same time. So what's the situation here look like? Germany over base cap. Damn it. We're already over base cap. What can we do? We can probably drop one of our battle cruisers out. And uh, how far over base capacity are we? Yikes, a ton over base capacity. Okay, so we really got to tighten up that belt. Okay, so we'll get rid of the Teutonberger Valds. Much as I would like to keep them, we're going to move them to Northern Europe. I don't know where I'll ultimately want them, but the budget at least is safe for now, which is nice, which means, honestly, we probably should, should have been building some more submarines. Let's go to Unrestricted, just cause the most damage as fast as possible. What kind of submarine count are we looking at right now? 72, which means we will be able to do a fair amount of damage. I'm a little bit worried that basically the U.S. is, I mean, that Italy is going to be brought into this war a little bit quickly. Now, the good news is that Italy doesn't threaten us for invasions at all. So, yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty in a lot of respects. I don't even think I want the Falklands holdings. Mainly, we just want to protect our Southeast Asian holdings which means the Bockenheims are probably going to leave for Southeast Asia time now. And we have fought the Americans before, and if anything, they could be seen as seeking vengeance on us since we did take some of their holdings like Guam. And they're too far away. I mean, I don't think that even with the invasion technology we missed, we would have the ability to get Guam. So this is the one we're most interested in. 
We're at 158, US is at 55, which actually puts us, oh my God, at, with enough. The thing is, I think we're gonna want to just whittle them down in ship count a little bit first. We actually outnumber them in battleship count, but greatly outnumbered in terms of battle cruisers. So we're not expected to be able to pull numbers on them. And it is the US, they do have the biggest economy in the world, so. It won't, this won't be an easy fight. Now, I should be ramping up all the air groups and stuff like that, but uh, for example, we will move these guys back to, I think I can just dra drag and drop, right? The Graf Zeppelin. I believe that this works, and it appears like it, whoa. Kind of, it kind of works. Whoa, happening again. A little finicky, but we got it eventually. Nice to see that the era did automatically choose this same configuration. I'm really happy with that. Of course, that's what I want to happen. Uh, we're gonna keep our numbers all low, except for the places where I think it's gonna most matter, which for me right now is just gonna be Fort de France and Point a Peter. <laughs> My. French pronunci pronunciations have its never been something that I've uh, <laughs> pretended I'm very good at. But let's get these up to the max, 20. And those are the two we want. I guess we could do it with Cologne as well. And I don't know where else we may fight, so those are actually going to be the main places. Let's move one of our battle cruisers back. I don't think I did that quite yet. Let's move you back. So move you to Northern Europe. Ah, which isn't going to help too much, unfortunately. So we were moving back our Tuta Burger Vaults and our one Fire Draka. So, Draka, so not doing that great. Caribbean. Okay, let's get these guys. I mean, a lot of these guys to trade production. Rod Verstals and all the Glukstads to trade protection. Okay, 79 out of 21 needed. That's good to see. We have pretty good ASW. And what is our Graf Zeppelin going to do? I think it's fair enough for her. Yes, I believe that her mission is going to be to move to Southeast Asia as well to support. I don't know what exactly, but we'll just move her over there and then figure out a game plan from there. Okay, improve fleet improves fleet logistics and reduces risk of breakdowns. And we have better invasion. Wow, that's okay. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Is that one of our Sturmbringers? Wow, we sank 30 enemy merchants and only lost four subs. They did one to one. That was a nice boon for us. What ship? Yep. Damn it, anyhow. So how are we doing in the Caribbean now? Why does it say we're blockaded? What? You gotta be out of your cotton picking mine. Oh, well, yeah, okay. We gotta do that. <laughs> oh my god, our budget. Our budget can't handle it. Oh my god. We haven't even done our, our aircraft yet. Something's gotta give here. Ah. Maybe the Graf Zeppelin just has to go scrapped. Nah, she's decent. She's pretty decent. I'm a little bit confused even by the maintenance numbers. 
These carriers are costing damn near what a battle cruiser costs, which I I mean they are as much as a blucher, which is insane. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll just have to ho hope that they <laughs> prove to be as worth it as I hope they are. We won't be blockaded next turn, though. That's the good news. Okay, we finished our six-inch guns. I forgot about those. That might help the budget a bit. That's going to help. Okay, improved LA effectiveness is very nice because that's going to help our existing ships. Oh my gosh. The arena, always living a charmed existence, has been tor I mean, it's this oddly charmed, uh, double-edged charmed. She's always damaged, but she's never sunk. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. One of our Mosels, basically they retired her for us. <laughs> this is really out of getting out of hand. I wish there was actually an option to turn off those so this submarine events. 8 to 4, 27 to 1. So we're still like way, 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 way ahead in the submarine game, but okay. So enemy coastal raid, we'll accept it just because this is the first action in the battle. But is it with our... Yeah, so we have a single... Owen Solorn here, and some, yeah, this is a really, really, really bad <laughs> fleet, that's what we have here. Okay, so I don't even know what we have here. We have the Udo. Okay, well, that's interesting. She is a Slichting class, which is good. Quite good. So there's hope in this engagement. We're going to give the go-ahead from the word go here to launch torpedoes. Because we just... I don't... Oh, yeah. Her, her maximum speed is 18, I forgot. I believe that this ship is going that way. I'm going to preemptively get my... Get my two destroyers here to move south, because I'm predicting that that's the way she's moving. And get the Udo to move south as well. Oh, okay, we just misidentified her direction. Okay. Now would be a great time to launch some torpedoes. And you're going to turn this way. I'm, uh, I... yeah, I'm okay with just the rear firing for now. Oh, we didn't hit her. Damn, it was so close, too. Can we still launch? I don't think so. Ah, friendly ship in line of fire. Which, I, yeah, this seems like a believable complaint at this point. This is legitimately a complaint, I would say. Uh, now it should be okay. And it is. Even though, I mean, it looks like it was going right at us, but luckily we have the... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not what I wanted. Boy, that was not what I wanted. Let's get the rest of your torpedoes ah, out of arc. Oh, okay, so she basically just already did so. Okay, get the smetterling down. Um, we're doing some damage here. Ooh, that was nice. We'll happily retire. Okay, you just go right into port. We'll happily retire if we can sink this one ship. Whoa. Oh my god, what happened? Into Wow. One single... Is this firing heavy guns? You gotta be kidding me. What are the odds of that? It's so unlucky. <sighs> okay.
Okay, so what are we up against here? It's a pretty good design herself. Okay, so the things I need to worry about are the two torpedo tubes. Where the Udo is facing a good position to avoid those. And I think I just need to get the, the Sieg in here at this point. Oh my gosh, that did look like a perfect shot. And our 12 inch guns are now battering her, which is perfect, giving the Udo hopefully a little bit more time to escape. And we're just going to make her run to port as well. <laughs> Oh good, it looks like we got her. There it is. Okay, looks like we've done our job. We're gonna slow this one down just to preserve her speed. Got one, got him. Okay, that's... Okay, obviously this doesn't make any sense at all. This doesn't make any sense at all. If we lose the Udo, I will be so pissed. When retiring from the engagement, Udo Dirk Schneider. By the way, when retiring from this engagement, being literally 10 nautical miles from port, almost inside of the protected area, where no submarine, especially from the Americans, especially all the way across, I mean, this is still 19, what, 34? And they sent submarines? They did. They killed the freaking Udo in the stupidest possible way. They killed it. It, mean, it needed to move what distance to port? It needed to go 15 nautical miles to get to port, and yet somehow, within the boundary of... I uh, just... Come on, game. I hate those events, and I, I hate them even more when they're just completely unrealistic. Like, they're a frustrating event in the best of cases, and like I said, I, I don't even have the... It's not one of those things where I even... Where it's bad only if it happens to me. I don't even really enjoy it when it happens to the enemy. But to have that kind of ludicrous situation... That does not make me happy. Uh, we are not laying down our arms. Get the hell out of here. Alright. New fighter... What? Why? Why is it impossible... Alright, let's not... Well, let's not be negative. But why is it impossible to make firepower fire higher than five? <laughs> So we just have to simply reject all of these, especially if they aren't at least firepower four. So this is the only option which is possible to consider. Faster, she has more range. She has better maneuverability, same toughness. I mean, she's better in almost every way. She has a, the max speed is a, an important happened to be Dornier, which made this fighter. Yeah, things are all backwards in this universe, but uh, I just, it's really hard for me to, I'm going to just hit okay on this. We've sunk a few bad things. Enemy has sunk our angle spear, which is a slick ding as well. My god. I'm really getting frustrated with that event. This is just, submarines are out of control, please. Convoy attack, let's accept this. They decline. Damn it. Okay, so should we be planning... What the frickin' heck is going on? Okay. Improve this base as well, because we actually do want as many ships in the Caribbean as possible at this point. Oh my god. How do we do this? Okay, I think we just have to keep going. Steady as she goes. Ships are maneuvering right now. These guys are on foreign stations. I really don't want them to be anymore, but let's find out where... Yeah, we would not have enough. Too many in the Indian Ocean, not enough in Southeast Asia, which is weird. Oh, because we lost the frickin' Udo to that stupid event. 
We need more Northeast Asia. I don't really see a reason to be in Northeast Asia during this fight, though, so... Uh. Oh my god. Yes, we'll accept that. Okay, let's see what happens here. This is a good group of ships. I don't know, this is another weird thing where the people, it's very obvious that people, when people complain about the battle generation system, this is like the perfect example. What is the United States doing in the Baltic? Like, what are they even doing here? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. All right, we have control now. By the way, we should have carriers. We do. So I, you know, absolutely should have controlled the carriers. Oh, it's not yet. Okay, so we're, we're lucky. We don't, we didn't do a search yet, but that's quite lucky because Make this like 325. Uh, 315. And this can be increased to 3225. There we go. Something like that. I still don't think we need that much. Uh, anyways, it's dark right now. This is the reason why I'm able to do this. Uh, balls. It's just become night. So basically, we might as well send... Uh, we might as well send these ships back home. It's nice that we have them, but they're not going to be useful in this. I probably will send them south, but then keep them actually out of port. And I will take your destroyers, though. You guys are relieved of duty here. You will be sent in to support the battle cruiser group. And since I believe everyone here is capable of getting up to 20 knots, oh. This is the bloopers and they max at 20 knots. Okay, so let's get up to 18. Well, I'm gonna get these guys up to 20. I'm just gonna lead them on a bit of a zigzag so that the bloopers can catch up. working nicely so far. Also should increase our chances of coming into contact with the enemy. And you guys stay above. There it is. Okay. That worked out perfectly for us. I may say so myself. All right. So this should be just perfect. Squad max. No, actually I want... I'm gonna be able to get them. I guess I can do them this way. There it is. Status. Good. AI control. Turn their course up a little bit. I'm doing this manually, because. <laughs> and let's come go to. Well. Something like 26. <laughs> Give that order manually. Oh, wow, okay, so, and we want torpedo launching immediately. The Blukers, I think, do have torpedo protection three? I may be incorrect. The Fire Druckers only have torpedo protection two, so maybe I'm off about that. That's probably a destroyer, by the way. We're gonna turn away with the battle cruisers. In fact, we'll even do the patented battle turn away, as I like to call it. The line of breast immediate turn. But these are battleships, so I think we might as we might even just dive in. These are the two remember. Yeah, these are the good ones. Oh, those are destroyers. So, well, I'm happy we made our turn. And these are actually the perfect thing. Hold your torpedo fire on this because we don't want you... I know we can. The game lately has been allowing us to sink a lot of destroyers this way, but it's not the way I think that you should sink destroyers. Let's get you guys up to squad max. Get you over here ASAP. Okay. That's 
very nice that we were able to hit this supposedly this um, cruiser that's probably a group of destroyers our Tudenberger vaults are going to deploy smoke and go in and see we missed with all those torpedoes but in a second we should have another chance at the big boys you guys go to squad max just to get you over there as fast as possible the blukers somewhat withdraw but we'll see exactly what we want to do yeah okay now it's no longer a question about what the hell, by the way, are these guys doing here? But it's sink or be sunk, and possibly sink and be sunk. I'll detach the Snell Sneka. G42, she's not going to have an opportunity to fire yet. So, turn. Oh my god. Who is the one that's damaged? Snellsnecka, okay. Snellsnecka. Damn it. They did it again. It's working. <laughs> let, it, let it work. Alright, so let's detach the Snellsnecka. That's actually to my advantage anyway. Gotta turn. Ugh! Okay. You turned too much, sadly. <laughs> South. And G42, you should be able to fire as well. Ah, beautiful. Just like a deploy this. And turn up north. Well, you might actually be able to get out of here. So while we're fleeing here and these guys are going to look at the results of the, whatever's happening. Oh, we got her again. Two more. That's a very good. This is this is bad. Everything here is bad. But if these guys can get out, which is unlikely, I would say, actually. If you have any torpedoes left, there's... Interesting. That's a fantastic angle, believe it or not. I was thinking about this battleship, though. There. That's the one. I was thinking about launching at her. Looks like a pretty viable target. And you're actually out of torpedoes, and so is your your buddy. How's this? No, she She still has six torpedoes left. Okay, well, turn in, because I don't think the G42... So we'll have to do this detaching business as well. Go. Run free. Run free. Get out of here. We want to save those. I mean, those are that's good ship glass, right? should have this shot lined up. I don't... Oh, God. What? You don't have a shot lined up? Oh, no. A uh, destroyer has cracked through. Don't like that. So we'll probably execute the same battlefield turn away here. Well, we don't even need to go to squad max. We just need to turn. Turn quickly. And and we're going to hit some stuff. The, I, what the hell is the whole American fleet doing in the Baltic? Is a question for the ages at this point. Oh my god, we hit three. Okay, so let's see what we hit here. Hit one, two, three. Okay, so good. We got two hits on the same one and one on another one. Very good damage. Now Snack is out in a position. She can hopefully finish this one off. She can. He's supposedly dead stopped. If that's actually true, that's going to be a perfect position for her and we might make it out with these two who can simply head right home <laughs> don't do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars just get out of here and since you are even more wounded i'm gonna send you down to danzig so looks like she was able to turn actually that is a weird situation so we're going to get the Oswins to form back up. Look, it. part of me says we can just take this huge victory in and be done with it. But part of me says, what if... I mean, actually, every single ship, even if it's not destroyed, should be interned. Because the Americans don't have any allies here. No allied ports, and they don't have any... Yeah, so... But might as well put our destroyers, you know, as we normally do, make them work as hard as possible... Yeah, you keep turning south, though. 
Okay, Shinoshaka is sinking. She's done her job. That is a beautiful line of torpedoes headed towards that battleship. And that won't be the last one. Now, this guy, he slipped through. It might have been a dud torpedo. Who knows? Actually, you just head south more. I mean, you're, you're done. So, are you flooding? You are flooding. Ah, we got to get you down out of... I mean, you're kind of out of sight. Slow you down, bring in the battle cruisers. We'd rather have support, frankly, but you know, you got to make do with what we, what you have. Got another hit there. S63. Ah! I mean, her flooding is a lot better. Go down to 24. And that maneuver, I think, has already cleared us of any possible torpedoes, so we'll move back west again as well. Okay, what do we have here? Massachusetts class, my goodness, what a pretty ship, unfortunately for us. That is a beautiful looking ship. The Americans know how to make them, good lord. I only can hope that this ship in here is also a Massachusetts class, because that thing is, that is glorious. 37,000, pretty much 38,000 tons. In fact, I'm actually a little bit surprised even that they were able to make this. This thing is amazing for 38 ton, 38,000 tons. I guess the thing that they went with, which I respect heavily, I've often considered doing this myself, is they went lower on speed just to make better firepower. <sighs> okay. That's not good. In fact, it should be us. I mean, these are gunboat destroyers, so I was hoping that we would be the ones winning those gunboat duels. So far, that's not the case. So down to 8 and see if we can get that one out. Get the Oswin heading north. These guys are heading over at flank, that's good. Oh, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> not at that one, please. She's already taken five torpedoes. Okay, that was a good launch. In fact, if you want to continue launching, that might... Well, I don't know what it is. Holy cow, you went through all eight of your torpedoes already. Wow, my good sir. That was ambitious. I wish we had those first four back in that case, but as we don't... No use crying over spilled milk. Looks like that's going to be a hit as well. So I, what I'd like to do is get the S-21 out of here, but... Ah, dude, all its torpedo tubes just blew up. Great. How's this out of arc? Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, maybe it didn't actually blow them up or something. We'll fire some torpedoes here. And S-21, you'll probably have to be detached now, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Get you out of here. Send you back safely home, hopefully, hopefully. Send you to Palau. Just launching torpedoes over in that general direction can't be a bad thing. Oh my god, why they just are lighting us up? Not good, not good at all. Ugh, save my ships. I mean, she, she probably even has more torpedoes, but at this point, fire anything you can at anyone you can. I'm going to do this just because it's going to launch more into the abyss, which I like. And then you guys are going to shift further west. Good. So... Shift a little bit of west, hopefully get a, a, to avoid torpedoes. How are you doing? 
36. You do have a little bit of flooding remaining, so hopefully you are you are able to control that. Take you down to six even. Uh, and this one's steaming in as well, which is good. I'll just get her right back to port as well. <laughs> okay. Neither of these ships are moving. Are they both stuck? What? Huh. Oh my god, where'd that one come from? Okay, Osvin is taking hits from this ship, which means that these guys don't have torpedoes, but we should be in perfect position to cross this T. Start turning away though. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we're up against something. We don't even know what, but the Blukers will have a second go at it as well, which is good. You guys might as well come in and finish. Let's turn off your torpedo firing, but uh, I'll probably have somebody launch a few at that one. I don't even know if it's worth it for the Grothraval to continue. I mean, if she's not going to be, be contributing, what is, what's her role in this fight? So yeah, I guess she will. There should be another blast. We are taking some hits here, but let's see. Six inch guns. Okay, so three 16 inch guns. That's really not that much. And in this one, what? One 16 inch gun? Come on, guys. Get your act together here. Ugh, and 46 minutes. Well, I'm going to have to pause this one, call this one to a close here. So we'll have to pick up the exciting slash devastating so far <laughs> beginning to this battle in the next episode. I'm not particularly happy with the way things have gone, but that doesn't mean they can't improve. So until the next one, thanks for watching. Sorry for the cliffhanger and take care.